I'm Sergei from uh, Latvia and uh, I'm studying in the MS in uh, Team 2019 and currently our team is going through the period called Teaching Practice and that's the period where we are trying ourselves in the role of a teacher and we divided ourselves, like we spread ourselves in uh, different schools of Denmark um, so in my experience teaching practice it is about trying to find out which kind of teacher you want to be and uh, try to use all the knowledge and experiences gained in DNS to to become as you see yourself um, and at the moment I'm uh, having my teaching practice in a school called Silhus. Uh, and this school has a very special program which is related to the ships mainly they have this marine time program where they are learning uh, students are learning to dive uh, to sail and they have a lot of activities in the water but um, it's still uh, it is uh, still a school where they have uh, lessons and where we can really try out ourselves in a classroom setting uh, currently I'm teaching here math and natural sciences such as chemistry, physics and biology and as a goal for myself I've put uh, to use uh, new tools to teach which means for example games and uh, so far I started to implement the virtual reality and uh, video games in the classroom setting to present the content through that um, and so far it's going successfully so I think I'm achieving quite high to my vision of the teachers that I want to be uh, so far from four months that I've already been here I would um, say that I, I learned already quite a lot about not just the students that are here but about the work as a teacher in general and how it is important to to know your students and to connect to your students uh, because in Sugarhus it is um, it's very different from the public schools that uh, I used to see for example in my country because uh, students live here first of all and uh, the relationship between teachers and uh, students is different so for me to wake my students up it's a daily routine to bring them to the school the school it um, gives a lot of freedom in the way you teach and on the other hand it also provides a lot of tools to do that and as I already mentioned school owns uh, two VR helmets and uh, a lot of computers that allows to uh, use it in the school setting and they also kind of push for it to it makes the studies more engaging for the students so therefore I'm really happy about the teaching practice that I'm having now and I think one more thing that I learned here is to it's about the content that I present that it's very important to read the room in which you are teaching which means uh, you have to analyze the students and find an individual approach to every student so the content that you present will be understandable for everybody the teaching practice period in the DNS program I think it's a moment where the knowledge that and experiences that we gain throughout the program uh, from the Africa travel from the European reality and bring it to the public uh, comes all together and uh, it in a way creates the image of uh, another kind of teacher that uh, is trying to connect the world, the real world, the reality to the classroom so which expands the classroom to the world and I think actually that's what the teacher uh, teaching practice is about of, uh, of yeah, putting the shoes of another kind of teacher in yourself and trying it out recently we had um, 
a subject. We're learning a subject called the uh, Teachers of 21st Century. And um, I was writing a report about applying video games in the school. And uh, it was something more general about the ideas that I gained through the different sources. And I described how to use it, but during the oral exam, I was talking about the lesson plan uh, of the actual lessons that I performed a few days before the exam. And um, it was a Danish lesson, something that actually is not in my field. But uh, one teacher asked me for ideas and I came up with a game that we can actually play uh, during the lesson. And the game is called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. And uh, that's a game about the communication where one person has a bomb in front of him and the second person is a, he's a master and he's a professional and he has a manual of the bomb with uh, clear instructions how to defuse the bomb. And uh, these two people have to communicate in a very effective uh, language to be able to defuse the bomb, which is the uh, initial goal of the game. And the students, like the engagement of the these particular students that I had, jumped up, like really a lot. If for, for them, just to read, they don't have any motivation. Uh, and they kind of give up in the few sentences and they say, I don't want to read, but just to see them having their manual in the hands and scanning it with their eyes from top to bottom it was a it was a really a nice thing to see and to see actually that the, everything what i wrote in my report is true and uh, after the lesson after this experience of diffusing the bomb together we were, we were working in the group and swapping with each other and it really helped them to understand the value of the language that they do, uh, that they talk with and uh, also they reflected not just about the language but about the game itself, how important it is to trust each other how important it is to communicate with each other and how it is important to actually work together for the common goal so I would say that the, so far the biggest success from the teaching practice that I had regarding my personal goal of applying the video games in the school Stay tuned, join the NS.